Druid183, guess what? I made a video just for you. Everybody, welcome back. My name is Chris. I am the dive guy. I all, anything, all, anything, and all things scuba diving we will talk about in order to save you money and enjoy our sport of scuba diving at the same time. I am not an instructor. I do not talk to anybody about educational wise because if you want to do that, go over to James's channel, Divers Ready. He is really good about all the medium stuff and he can talk about it really good, especially technical stuff. Or go over to Lake Hickory Scuba because those guys are. Awesome. I, I love, I both of them. If you're watching this channel, you need to be watching those two channels. No, they don't know anything about me putting up any information because they don't know who I am. Even though technically I've been going longer than James, but he's got more subscribers, but I'm not jealous. Anyway, guys, before we get started, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. And this is what we're going to talk about. Scuba tanks. I know. Exciting, isn't it? I was asked a question by, I think it's Dr. Ed183. It could be Dread183, D-R-E-E-D-R-E-D-D, -D -D -D, 183, one of my subscribers. Thank you very much for the question, by the way. I really appreciate it. Uh, what do you do when you buy a used scuba tank? Well, are we talking about aluminum or steel? And both of them, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take them to a dive shop and get them inspected. But before you buy this aluminum, this, this aluminum scuba tank, there are some rules to apply before you get started, before you say, yes, I'm going to pay this money. There are things like, is it made before 1990? Apparently before 1990, I did not know this, apparently before 1990, there was low quality aluminum in our scuba tanks. So whenever we pushed them up to 3000 PSI, they would explode, but they would explode on the, on the worst possible times while you're underwater. Number one. Number two, apparently, DOT number SP6498. I'm going to put this link below, below, below. SP6498 is also a notation of inferior grade aluminum. Now, nowadays, after 1990s, and if it's not that number, you're going to go to a dive shop and you're going to get it checked out. Now, what do we mean by checked out? There is visual inspection. Every tank has to go through a visual inspection every so many years. Every tank has to be hydroed every so many years. I don't know if it's every three and five. I don't know what the inspection times are. Again, I am just started scuba tank, scuba diving, so and I haven't bought my first tanks yet. I want to. And after watching the guys over at the Diver Supply, Diver Supply, think I'm actually changing my mind and not do a steel tank and go with the high pressure aluminums. Ah, but Chris, what if I do buy from Diver Supply? I'll throw them out there since I've already said them once. What if I do buy from Diver Supply? And should, can I go tank? Can I go diving with that? I'm sure Diver Supply is going to send you a good hydro and a good VIP inspected tank. I'm sure, I'm sure of it. But you have to remember that this was a tank picked by you over the internet. A person then had to go and pick that color out. And he grabs a tank off the rack and he sends it. Now, I don't know if they send you a hydro date or anything like that. So the first thing you get, you look at it and you look at the top, you see that it's been hydroed and you see the VIP, visual inspection date. So you see the, you see the numbers. Those numbers may be three months from when you get the tank, from when, from when you get the tank, then it needs to be hydro. See what I'm saying? Double check everything. Double check everything. Also, go double, go to your local dive shop. Go double check it and jump in the pool. If your dive shop, if it has a pool, and it does not allow you to check your equipment in the pool, maybe you shouldn't go to that dive shop. Because you should, if that is your local dive shop, you know them, they know you, and they don't allow you to check that equipment in the pool, you should go to another dive shop. Sorry. Anyway, rant about dive shop. Believe me, I got plenty of those. 
So my scuba tanks, steel or aluminum? Yeah, that's personal choice. Color, not color. Again, personal choice. You're getting into personal choices now. One that you feel comfortable with, one that you've had inspected. If you see these tanks, let's say you're going to eBay and you see a set of six tanks for 60 bucks total. Are they close to you? Because if they are, go look at them. Make sure that number's not on there. Below, I done forgot it. Make sure that number's not on there. Make sure that it's not done before 1990. There, I think there's ways you can tell because there used to be ways I can tell on the top when it was made. Um, make sure everything is in or has been. You don't want one that's been hydro 15 years ago. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you gotta take that, you're gonna have to take that valve off and replace the valve. You might as well buy yourself a new tank. Um, and, and new tanks are actually fairly reasonable. When you talk about doing all the other stuff to the other tanks, you're coming up better just buying the new ones and testing them and then go diving. Um, uh, I've had this question, firefighter tanks. Absolutely not. I know there's probably somebody out there, but I'm a firefighter and I scuba dive one with all the time. Look, you want to do that? That's fine. That's your prerogative to, to risk yours, to scare your dive buddy, all the stuff that you want to do to put yourself at more risk. They are not scuba certified. The problem is, and this is just it. A firefighter's dive tank is designed, or a firefighter's SCBA is designed to go into buildings at 11 to 1200 degrees at a time. Sometimes it's not that high. That's, that's the back out. That's the back out. Okay, heat. That's when your pass device starts telling you, dude, it's too hot. You're being a baked potato. Get the hell out. SCBA, contained breathing device. Ours is SCUBA, underwater breathing apparatus. That is not designed to do that. Oh, carbon fiber tank. Boy, I wish they would make a carbon fiber tank for scuba diving. Probably be expensive, but they are light. Trust me, I picked up the SCBAs with carbon fiber tanks on the back and they are light. But they're firefighter gear. They are not scuba gear. So that is not what you need to be looking for. You do not need to look for like old oxygen tanks, old SCBA or SCBA tanks, firefighter. No, you want scuba quality equipment. And the more I talk about it, the more I'm saying new. Now, don't get me wrong. I have a friend of mine, uh, a doctor. He was diagnosed with cancer and he sold all of his equipment. I know for a fact he kept his gear in good working order. If I had the money at that time, I would have bought, the, bought it from him, okay? Because he was really getting rid of it. But what would I have done when I bought it? Took it to my dive shop and got it inspected. I, I love him. He's a great doctor. He's a great guy, but I still would have had that serviced and, and inspected. See, I'm going with that. All right. So that's it guys. I, I'm going to say it's Dr. Ed 183, even though it could be dread 183. Dr. Ed sounds kind of more official, you know? Um, I appreciate everything being said. I appreciate all the comments. Um, the Davidsons out there said they're going to go diving the blue grotto on March 27th and 28th. I'm, thinking I might be able to get out there on the 28th. I'm not sure. Uh, I need you guys send me some more questions. Bring it on. I, I, I love getting on the internet. So um, Hasenberg and Diver Supply are my two reference points plus Lake Hickory Scuba and uh, Divers Ready. I looked at all those videos and, and you guys, but we all agree on the same thing. Use tanks are okay if you get them inspected and beware that if you spend your money sight unseen, you probably are about ready. You've got a 50% chance of you losing your money because they may be better that that, that tank may be no better than a decoration, decorative piece, decorative piece. You know what I'm saying? So that's it for the day. That's use tanks that I know of. Um, as I go along and I get my own tanks, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll walk you through what I do. Okay. I just have to get through my tanks. I have to get there at that point. I'll walk you through what I do. Um, 
I'm trying to figure out how to make servicing equipment sound fun and exciting because I'm going through that right now. I'm having to service my gear. Might as well. It's winter time. I ain't diving. And, uh, but if you like what these videos are doing, if you like what I'm doing, give a comment, give a like, give a shout out, smash the, smash the subscribe button. I'm almost there getting a website. Almost. Anyway, guys, I love you. I am Chris. This is the Dive Guy channel. Thank you for subscribing. Have a good day, and I will see you out on the boat.